one of the big limitations regarding the previous generation of tests is that they're mostly focused on prognosis. They're trying to identify who's going to do good, who's going to do maybe intermediate, and who's going to do bad. And based on that, say, well, for this one who's going to do bad, we should give a given treatment, chemo, whatever you want. But actually, and, and we're also going there in prostate cancer, probably. But truly really what we would love to see is now new generation of tests that would not only tell us who's going to do bad or good, but who's going to really benefit from the A treatment or the B treatment or, or no treatment. And this is really what, what, what we're trying to identify more and more. So in terms of prognosis, there are some tests available for prostate cancer. Validation is ongoing. And perhaps, depending on reimbursement, they will be used or less used. But again, what we're trying to, to better develop, specifically in the metastatic disease at the moment, are predictive tests. And I strongly believe that we're not far from getting that to that. For example, the V7AR variants seems to be clearly indicative as to whether a patient is going to benefit from abiratron or envalutamide or any AR-targeting drug, which is a very interesting thing. Um, perhaps we will soon have the same thing with a, a, a drug such as a laparin, where you know, brackness, um, DNA repair can be measured uh, on a quite efficient test. And hopefully in the future we will also have this uh, for uh, chemotherapy such as taxanes. There are emerging data on that and we, we should really put all the efforts on, more, on developing more and more of these tests because those are truly the, the most helping tests that you can imagine.